the skilled worker is in demand and that's job security. There is a need in this trade for people. It is one of the reasons we are here. I get a lot of calls from a lot of people. I want to get into air conditioning and I want to get a job and that's fine. The three things that the employer wants from a future candidate, they want them to have a driver's license because you're going to be driving their truck. And if you can't drive a truck, you're not really much used to it. You are required to be CSC certified. In other words, how to handle refrigerants. The chemicals in refrigerants are detrimental to the atmosphere. And employers want you to have the apprenticeship license. What that is, is you go online to the state of Maryland and you fill out the application online. 10 bucks, they send it to you. There's no test or anything. But what that does is that starts the clock ticking. You have to be an apprentice for three years working for a company that has a master mechanic before you're eligible to take a test for a journeyman's license. The college does not handle the journeyman's license, but obviously what we teach helps them get the license. The technical ability of somebody that's going to go on in this trade learns what they need to know to do that here. Our first class is the fundamentals of refrigeration. Whether you're in sports or anything else, you have to learn the fundamentals to, to understand. And diagnosing what's the matter with it if it's not functioning properly. We have three different labs, principally cooling systems, another one heating systems, and another one sort of control systems. So they understand when you go to that thermostat and put it from off to cool or off to heat, what does that actually do? And I have mock-up systems where we can learn hands-on work. We do brazing. We work with the plastic pipes for the drains. We work for electrical to hook up the system. We do have a class where we get the duct work, we put it together. There's a lot of control work that we do. We teach that sequence, not only on air conditioning, but on the furnaces, on boilers, uh, the, the whole spectrum. I will replace capacitors with ones that are defective. I may put in defective fuses. We want the students to diagnose the problem. The faster you learn how to do that and solve the problem without having callbacks, you're going to make more money because you're more valuable to your employer. You can get a certificate at the college. You would take 24 credits and there's a certain list of classes you have to take to earn that 24 credits and you get a certificate. If you continue on to take 60 credits, you can get a degree. It's not two different paths. You get the 24 here if you keep going and get the 60. So it's not this path or this path. It's all one. The work is there and it's there in more ways than one. It's a good trade. It's going to treat you well. You don't have to worry about the trade going away.